Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. I was talking with my friend CH online the other day about stocks and shares and interesting things like that. When he said, oh by the way Cap, you know I've made a new Shahed 136 drone swarm mod in DCS. Would you like to come and do ridiculous battles with me? And I said, yes. Say hello, CH. Hello. CH, you've made a Shahed 136. We've used it before in DCS, but a very low fidelity version. You've made a high fidelity version, which is great. It comes in a truck. In fact, uh, why don't you explain it to me? Exactly, uh, because that uh, was my thought. Uh, what kind of dispensing system are we going to use? And since I saw the pictures of this one, they're using uh, civilian commercial trucks which we have this structure on the container base, you can see, which it actually flips up, takes a couple of minutes, and then they can launch straight from the racks with a little booster motor, then we'll launch up to five uh, drones from each truck. So these aren't even uh, military trucks, it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, and these uh, drones, uh, they have a pretty small warhead, it's around 50 kilos, but they can go pretty far. Uh, I have actually updated this one. You can see you have range 1080, which was one of these uh, super dream figures. The updated version has a range of around 200 nautical miles, which is more in line with what it should have with a kind of motor and yeah, the, the drag and so forth. But the biggest issue when you're faced uh, against these is that they are very small. They are made in some sort of composite, and then they are not easy to detect. I think they have an RCS of around 0 0.05. It's not easy to detect them, uh, so they are pretty close when you can see. You have probably seen some footage from mm -hmm. the current war, uh, where they are shooting them down with AKs and machine guns and all that stuff. That's because on the open feeds, you can actually hear them very well, because they sound like lawnmowers, because mm -hmm. that's the kind of motor that's in them. But uh, it's, it's harder for uh, SAM systems to detect them because they are also incredible small. Uh, and they are moving very slowly, which uh, these radars also doesn't like because they're moving at around uh, below 200 kilometers per hour. So this is the absolute opposite ethos of, say, America's yeah. LARASM <laughs> missile or JASM missile, where you spend millions of dollars on each missile, subsonic but stealthy missile, just one for each mission. This, the idea is they're super cheap. They're like World War II technology. Well, maybe not World War II, but they're very old tech with a little piston motor on the back. So for each mission, you just send like 20 at them, of them at one target in a swarm. Something's bound to get through and it's still cheaper than one JASM. Yeah, it's not just a little cheaper. I think they, co uh, they cost around 20, $25,000 uh, each. So that's nothing compared in, yeah. to the larger missiles. Yeah. More, and these, uh, yeah, exactly. And, and Shahed 136, which is called in Iran, where they are made. And they have also been used by the Russians. It's called Geranium 2 uh, Russian service. So today we're going to find out what could stop a swarm of Shahed 136 drones. Here's our setup. We are being attacked by Iran from Keshem. We have Larak Island here. We have to defend these three generic buildings. About 12 miles away is the drone swarm. They can fire a lot further away, as CH said, but because they go so slow, I'm going to start them pretty close. Let's watch what happens without any defense. All right. Yeah, and these, these are, uh, I should mention, they are GLUNAS, uh, GPS equivalent, GLUNAS uh, guided and INS. So they, yeah, they do their best to find their way, but you know, are not super accurate in real life. I'm going to pause it now because um, I've done this on purpose, but the target is over there, CH. So I thought, yeah. okay, let's have the uh, lorries facing the direction of the target. It's kind of a natural thing to think. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, well, then I went to run it for the first time and I realized they came out the back like this, but it looks cool. Watch this. What, yeah. what happens? <laughs> yeah, I made it so it could be launched in any direction. And then they just turn around. Look at that, viewers. So they have a little solid rocket motor to get them started. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. It's a rocket to take off. Uh, rocket assisted takeoff. Impressive viewers, and that's a real thing you would 100% see. If Iran got upset with someone, they would just do this against a ship in the Persian Gulf. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, that ship needs to be completely stationary because they can't track moving targets, right. they have no seekers. So they'll just go for, okay, then they're not really useful for anti-shipping. It's going to be ground targets then. Yep, that makes sense. Right, here they are. Um, and it is very antiquated, viewers. It is a, well, it's like a car engine, right? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Or actually, I, I saw, I read someone who actually uh, checked the, more or less the building materials. They, they, they could find all this stuff on like uh, AliExpress and all these kind of places. Right, which is uh, to make these. What you want because you've got to get them done for twenty five thousand yeah. um, dollars. Yeah. As we said, oh, is that the rocket booster down there? Yeah, exactly. And that's uh, I mentioned that in the readme. It should actually be uh, be uh, released, uh, but uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, Roger. Fix that technically right now. Have we talked about the size of the warhead? Yeah, around 50 kilos uh, or slightly less. I think uh, when uh, the Russians uh, implemented, they went from INS to the GLONASS for better accuracy. Yeah, yeah. They had to sacrifice a little bit of the uh, warhead size to fit the, uh, uh, the GPS stuff. Okay, viewers, but that is 100. Uh, wow, look at that. That is 100 drones as promised. And the great yeah. thing about the new mod is. Um, it doesn't slow the computer down. So 100, I could probably run, maybe not 300, maybe 200. Uh, but 100 will be enough for today. Right, uh, let's scroll it forward. Obviously, nothing's going to intercept them. Hey, Viewington, say goodbye to your uh, beloved Yeah, it, it's a four-cylinder two-stroke aircraft, small aircraft engine. Roger. Box on gasoline. That is what a drone swarm would look like in real life, viewers. And still, all of that added together, 100 times 25,000. Can you do that in your head? 100? Yeah. 250, two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half million? Yeah. So that there still costs less than one Larazm, American Larazm anti ship missile. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. That's the beauty of it, I guess. Right, uh, yeah. let's start defending that site now. Right, here we go. First line of defense, viewers. We're going to try a battery of American Sea Rams. Naval phalanx systems attach to trucks. Now, we've not put them next to the thing we're defending. Placement is critical, and CH told me that the best chance of intercepting them is just over a mile ahead of the thing you want to defend. So in this case, you have to know where the hostiles are coming from and of course we do so i'm just going to speed it forward because obviously the engagement range of c ram is only a mile or so right place your bets one battery of four c ram 100 drones ch i know i that will be leakage i don't think they have the time to engage the many of them Although they because can... they, uh, mm -hmm. uh, they will have to fire more or less straight up the kind of range these have uh, so they will pretty quickly be yeah they just run out of time to move around and yeah. target everyone. So it's not the it's not the gun that's letting them down. It's the ability to find, decide a new target, lock onto it, and go through its. Oh my god! Look at that. Yeah, yeah, they are extremely easy targets. I mean, you can put them down with an AK more or less if you're. Huh. That's kind of impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The really cool sound. Of it. Didn't see that every day, viewers. <laughs> Yeah, you can look uh, from uh, one of the drones also. Yeah. So they're taking out a fair bit of them, but yeah. as you can see, they're pretty easy for them to just... Now, now they have to turn around and start firing after them. Yep, yeah, they've 100% got through, amazing! Doing their best. And as you can see, when they're diving, it's very hard to hit them. You have to follow them yeah. down the trajectory. Yeah. That's extremely hard. So you will probably have one or more of these at the, the uh, target also. Yes, yeah. to like, take care of the stragglers. I think they would still get through. So many got tens got through. So yeah, yeah it, it, in this case, it was more than just stragglers. No, it was no, more or need, less the main component. <laughs> you need more than a battery of CRAM viewers, yeah. I'm afraid. Next run, valued viewers, we are going from four defensive units to six, and we're going to use the, I guess what I would call the Chinese version of the European uh, Gepard. It's got radar, two radar-guided 35mm Erlikon cannons. Have I got that right, CH? Yeah, it's actually, yeah, they bought, it is, it's actually the same 35mm cannons, it's the Erlikons. Exactly the same as the Gepard. It has a slightly better radar, but the same guns. Roger. Um, I've added the scoreboard viewers so you can kind of count what's going on. And I've I've done the four here, and then I've done two pack stop units to see if that makes a difference. Prepare to die, Shahheads. 
These are much bigger rounds than the C RAM. The C RAM is 20 mil high explosive rounds, wasn't it, CH? Yep, that is correct. These are 35 mil high explosive and armor piercing mixed, I believe. Yeah, but a lot less of them. Yeah, and a less rate of fire. Yeah. All right, here we go, viewers. I love the look of these things. They look so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they're gonna have to work now. They really are. Okay, swarm, prepare to get gassed. Man, I don't want a swarm coming towards me anytime soon. Let's see how they yeah, target different areas. Or are they all going for the first ones? Yeah. The problem with swarm is you need to kill them at enough of a rate, yeah. CH. That's the problem. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's the rate of killing. You, even if you've got 400 missiles, to fire, it doesn't matter if you yeah. can't kill them quick enough. And after you fire, you have to wait a couple of seconds to see if you have hit or not, and then right. re-engage if you yeah. have hit. You can't just continue uh, targeting new stuff. You can 100% see the difficulty in doing this. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a great job, I think, Backstop's with the PK, fine. but, but it, it's not enough. I mean, yeah. they, they are almost hitting everything they are aiming at, but yeah. Shows the weakness against swarms, viewers. Even if they are terrible units, these shot heads are terrible, but times it by 100, they're not terrible anymore. With their Look at It's the horsepower engines. Roger. Ah, dang, the scoreboard didn't work. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it's not really designed for this. <laughs> ah, look at him! <laughs> He's doing a dance, he's throwing his arms up in his air like my baby does when he's angry, yeah. which is all the time. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what to do, he's properly freaking out. Help us, help us. <laughs> what do I do? What do I hit him at? <laughs> oh dear. Alright viewers, I thought the scoreboard would tell us when each of them was destroyed, but it's not. Uh, there's a reason for that that me and CH would understand, but it's pointless. You just have to accept it, so I'll turn the scoreboard off. Right, well that failed miserably. Let's try uh, a next unit. Right viewers, we are upping the stakes. Uh, this time over to Russia with uh, units that are literally designed for this job. We've got the Panzer S2. There are four types of Panzer, and this is the second variant. It's a pretty dang fine unit. It carries 12 close range missiles or range of about 12 15 miles uh, and i put six units in the same position as the pgs pgz's the position looked good last time but they've also uh, so that's 72 missiles which isn't enough missiles to do this but they've also got twin radar guided 30 mil cannon have i got that right ch exactly and they have uh, they can actually point uh, towards the target and they are extremely fast these missiles so they can't can fire, wait a couple of seconds to hit, and then uh, re-engage another target, uh, and still have time to use the, the guns if needed. Roger. Uh, CH has got, uh, said a really important point that may have lost you there. It actually points, well this isn't quite true, but it more or less points its missiles yeah. at the target, rather than firing them, like a lot of Shorad stuff, stuff does, right up. And that's hugely more efficient for this kind of stuff, and that's obviously why it was designed. Yeah. Um, as well as radar guided it also has electro optical reversion in fact you may have seen recently uh, on youtube some images of one of these shooting down a uh, what was it storm shallow did you see that ch yeah yeah, yeah. It uses its electro optical it couldn't get a radar lock well i don't know yeah. actually but it uses its electro optical system and yeah. it's quite impressive to watch now the question is when will it um detect them um if these were airplanes that were easy to see it could detect them literally as they took off because it can actually reach further than the launchers yeah. but because these are such but, low visibility yeah. suckers i'm not sure when yeah, it, 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 yeah, exactly it's more or less up to the operator here because it will almost look like a flock of birds yeah. you have oh. to try to distinguish themselves and make a decision how the hell do you lock onto that viewers look at it imagine what that looks like on a radar just oh my god sorry viewers <laughs> uh, Wow, I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> I think they're going for it. <laughs> Let's see how fast right. they go. Come on, Panzer. Yeah, they're gonna they're smashing it. See how you yeah, take out more than one at a time also maybe. Yep. It's pretty impressive. That is. I can listen to the rate of fire viewers. Oh! Something went wrong. No, it was uh, the same target, so we destroyed it uh, Sorry, so we so. can find a new one. Roger. It shouldn't do that because um, they're all, I put them all in the same group, but I guess accidents happen. Yeah. Well, that's pretty impressive, viewers. 
the rate of kill is brilliant. I mean, although I say that, they are the flock is still coming towards us. Yeah, yeah, it still doesn't really, really look that it's that thin. <laughs> the herd. Yeah, that's the main issue with swarms. It's mad all that. <laughs> Just look at how many explosions going on. Yeah, but still, you see a lot of dots. I reckon they're going to do it, ZH. I reckon they're absolutely chewing them to pieces. The thing is, they're not just hitting the front ones, they're hitting the rear ones too. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're kind of just destroying the blob from the inside out. And I don't reckon there's many left. Oh, the uh, valued viewers are going to be very upset if it's only the Russians that can do it. But it is a good, it's a genuinely a good unit for no, them. No, no, wow, no. Let's see. Hello. No, it's not a mill action here. Wow, what a cool throwing, gun. Throwing it everywhere. <laughs> Oh, so, so, did some of them pass? What? Why did no? No stuff blowing up, I think. Yeah. I reckon they're slightly out of range, if you ask me. Stop doing that! I reckon they're slightly out of range. Right, I've got to move out of the way. This guy keeps whizzing around. Yeah, yeah. I imagine they're going to get in range at some point and start doing, start killing. Look at the, the bullets exploding viewers, there are 30 more rounds. Each one of those is like a giant hand grenade. There's a lot of power in these guns. Yeah, they are dying. I think they're dying. It's working. Um, I'm going to go back to the rear guard and watch it from their point of view. It's about 30, 25 operational, I'd say. Yep, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, they did, exactly. They're really taking care of business here. Lots of bullets. I can't tell if it's hitting them or not. <laughs> yes, it is. Look, look, they are blowing yeah. up. They're just not yeah. great shot, to be honest. Yeah, they're, another one's down. We would just be missing these exposures. That said, CH, they are getting through. Not accurate enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's These guys are out of ammo. Bullets. The front ones are out of ammo. Yeah. I think and they fired too far left. away. I think they fired too far away and they shot the load too early, as it were. Oh, about 20 are going to get through, viewers. Oh, that's a mashy boomy. <laughs> Dog damn it! It does appear that we're gonna have to work harder, viewers. Go on, swing your little arms about. No, they're not gonna do it. They're too stoic, like the British. <laughs> All right. Okay, viewers, we're gonna need an escalation in firepower here, aren't we? So we've gone even bigger. Obviously, you can see what we're doing here. We're getting bigger and bigger units now. We're onto the SA-15 Tor M2M. There are, oof, I can't remember. Four, five types of tours? I can't remember. It's so hard to keep up with Russian units. But this is the M2M variant. Can you talk us through it, uh, CH? Yeah, please? it's the latest version with a new radar and a new kind of uh, missile. And it's uh, more packed in the launcher also. They have 12, uh, oh no, 16 missiles instead of eight, uh, like the, the regular M2. Roger. So I've gone uh, 16 times six here. I can't do that. I've got to go and grab my calculator real quick. Oh, I can't quite, I haven't got quite got enough. Viewers, I'll add an extra one in. Because these guys don't have gun reversion. Um, they only have the missiles. We need, we must have at least enough missiles. Right. Uh, okay. I've now got seven. So seven times six is one. <laughs> right, 112 missiles. We've got a surplus of 12 missiles this, this time, Viewingtons. When will they fire? They've got enough range to hit them pretty much as soon as they come out again. But again, seeing the Shahids is difficult. Yeah, so these are VLS launched as opposed to the fanciers. Roger, so they are pneumatically launched vertically and then yeah. turn right. Now that's, for the, what we're doing here, that's going to be a, that's going to be a bam thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's very good if you don't know from which uh, uh, direction the, the threat is coming, uh, but you will waste a little of the, the boost as compared to the, the fancier. Uh, can anyone see a swarm? There they are. Right, what I'm going to do is scroll forward and we'll Watch, they'll turn their little heads when they, their little armoured heads. Here we go, armoured head turning. <laughs> Look at that. 
do not want to turn you towards you. Here they go. Here they come. See. Yeah. Oh, should we tell what well, quickly chat what range, range it was? As this is a mini yep. science experiment as well, Viewingtons. It was about six miles. That seems to be the yep. average of when things are spotting them. Let's hope they really start pumping it out. Mm -hmm. Reduce the yeah. range now. Yeah. Yeah, well, that looks like a good rate of fire, <laughs> CH. Yeah, that's a great rate of fire. Yeah. I mean. Let's see the tours if they are still putting them out. Uh -oh, uh oh, uh oh, have they stopped? Have they stopped? They've stopped. You SOBs, why are you doing it? They fired two and they gave up. The swarm appears to have upset them, Viewingtons. I'm afraid it appears to be a bit of a tour problem. I will scroll forward. Yep, they can't handle the swarm. It's weird, they could, viewers. They took a few of the front rows out. Oh. It's not unusual that we find something like this. We've never really done proper swarms to this degree. I'm going to start the firing again. Yep. Is there a problem with this Russian radars? Yep, and they stopped again. Let's see how many they've... They have... They've, no... Very intermittent firing. It's very intermittent firing they're doing. Yeah. Either way, it's not going to take the swarm down, viewers. Scroll forward. That's probably it. No, nope, we're going again. Just one guy firing now. No. The swarm messed them up, viewers. Um, I've got no. We've got no way of knowing what that is. Is it the radar? Is it something in the programming in the game? I, you know, absolutely no way of knowing. But they just couldn't handle it. Let's not waste any time on it. Obviously, they're going to get through in massive numbers. Right, Tor, that is 100% your freaking fault. Yeah, it's some, something. Yeah, I, I didn't actually run. How many did you have in the swarm? 20 trucks, 100 uh, things. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have that many. It, it, I, I think it has to do with the scaling. It has to be that because I didn't see any of these issues. Roger, uh, we were just talking in the background there, viewers. We think it's the size of the swarm. CH has been doing some testing in the background. 20, 50 drones. And generally, his his units have been everything's been working. Now we've ramped it up to 100. Stuff's starting to break down, and you might say, "Oh, that's stupid," but that might be how real life is. Radars get overwhelmed, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Anyway, we're trying. Um, this may or may not work. This is obviously completely untested. This is a Type 26 frigate, a slightly futuristic frigate from Britain. The reason I've chosen it, it is because it's beautifully suited. It, uh, it's an anti-swarm frigate. It's got these things. It's got a mushroom farm. Each mushroom farm is, oh god, 24 quick-release cams or C-Scepter missiles designed for exactly this. And here they go. Uh, so that is break 48 C-Scepters. And it, as well as that, it's got a load of other missiles. I can't even remember what they are now, but it's got something. As well as that, it's got guns, it's got, uh, God, it's got Sea Whiz times two, uh, mini guns, and it may even have some more guns. Yes, it's got these auto cannons. Yeah. Right, how well is it going to do is the question. Is it going to get confused by swarm? It looks like that. It, it should is. already be pumping up everything it has. Right, viewers, so what we found is there <laughs> is a limit to how many you can put in the swarm before it just breaks down. It's almost like it's, it's trying to assess the size of the threat and it just divides by zero i guess that's what yeah. we're gonna so i can scroll forward i don't think anyone's gonna happen now because <laughs> it's exactly the same behavior as um whatever we just did isn't it can you see they're going up and down in waves ch i never see i didn't seen that before yeah i bet yeah. that is also making it harder to hit or harder to track they're going they're not just like something's happening oh my god it's just gone nuts oh. <laughs> it's just gone nuts viewers I'm going to pause that because there's an interesting artifact there. Before it started firing like this, they were going and they were undulating up and down. I don't know if you saw that, viewers. I don't know what your compression allows you to see. But they were, if I can get my cursor up, going woof, woof, like a sine wave and creating this horrible effect of, of wave on wave. And as soon as they stopped doing that, the ship just opened up and the ship's, well, opening up now. So this is interesting first time science you're seeing here, viewers. Now the mushroom farms are working yeah, properly. Exactly, you can fire from both farms at the same time, so... Yeah, that's just an amazing rate of fire. Look at that, viewers. <laughs> that's what we wanted to see. 
That's what I wanted to see. Getting these friggin' mushroom farms working. Wowie. I don't see that every day, viewers. Jeez, look at that. Smash. Yeah, that's gonna kill him. Yeah, you don't see anyone spend that kind of money every day. <laughs> Each one of those missiles, viewers, is a C Scepter, so a cam derivative, actually a derivative of the old 1980s Azram missile, 90s maybe, Azram missile, but with a radar seeker head in it. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's basically made to do this, shoot down real small objects and lots of them. And I think we're seeing our investment in cam pay off right now. Although it's targeting the back ones, which is such a friggin' stupid idea. <laughs> Come on, stupid ship. No, 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 there's a gun coming. There's a gun firing. It's firing, break. A 30 mil. Sea Whiz and the 30 mil. Yeah. But the Sea Whiz doesn't have uh, tracers. You can't Roger. see the bullets. Come on, ship. Come on, ship. Hit better. Yes. God damn it, nothing can stop the swarm, CH! It's so big! We've killed so many of them. We had 48 uh, sea scepters, by the way, viewers, 48. Yeah, and then this, you can see they're doing a really good job aiming and, and hitting them, but the amount yeah, of them. It's 100% so well PK. Made. Yeah, it's, it's actually doing better than I thought. Dang it, damn it. Come on, other side, other side, switching to action. Ah, so close. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 21, 21 got through. Yeah. Dog damn it, if a friggin' Type 26 can't do it, what can do it? Look, yeah. mushroom farm de depleted, viewers. Yeah. Mushroom farm depleted. Should have filled the Mark 41's receptor. What's it even firing at now? It's not firing anything. No, it's just irritating. Stop firing! Oh, there's a couple of stragglers. Yeah. Oh god, look, it fired a, um, it fired a, uh, it's, it's main cannon. <laughs> right, viewers, not content with that, we've upped things from a frigate to a destroyer! Type 45 destroyer. Again, pretty much designed for this. Um, it's got, uh, 48 Mark 41 cells filled with, break, uh, block one sea vipers. What are sea vipers called? I've forgotten, CH. Asta. Asta. Um, yeah, and this is just a 30 block one. As, yep, and it's got one mushroom farm, so 24. It's got an able gun, and it's got twin sea whiz, and it's got twin auto cannon, and it's got uh, mini guns, and it's got everything. Sharp sticks. Yeah, mushroom farms are going. Everything's yeah. going. I didn't take long. Wow, they're pretty much shooting them as they take off. Right, Type 45 means business viewing to women too. Is no, it the also? Look, they're doing the undulating thing. Yeah. That smashed up the Type 26. See that undulation, viewers? That completely smegged up the Type 26, but Type 45, bigger radar, yeah. I think. Yeah, 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 it's, it's a completely Big different class awesome radar. radars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a triple kill! <laughs> type 45, apparently best 45 viewers. Ooh, yeah. mama. Yeah, and you will see the difference between the Aster 30s uh, warhead. Uh, uh, yeah, because it's got a huge can. warhead, hasn't it? Yeah, at, at least compared to the... Uh, which is much yeah. more Yeah, I think it's got it in the bag. It started firing early, it detected them miles away. Literally, it detected them as soon as they took off. It hasn't even touched a mushroom farm yet. Oh, one mushroom farm. <laughs> I reckon we've got this in the friggin' bag. They're still climbing to altitude. That's how quickly we've shot them. As compared to everything else so far today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to just absolutely want to protect yourself from a Shahed uh, drone swarm, bring a destroyer. Ideally a Type 45, but a destroyer. Which is pretty much the biggest ships get today, really, in new ships. Apart from carriers. Yeah, that is. Next video well, US yeah. carrier air wing versus Shahed drone swarm. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, exactly. I mean, you could actually put a Ticonderoga CMP mm -hmm. there and get... Yeah. So good. I've even installed it, it because I figured... Yeah, uh, yeah I figured 6, we might 64 be 64 ESMs yeah. and like... 
other six tiers of six. That's good. They're using yeah, firing at distance first. And then yeah. can pick them off with the C scepters to the left. Thank God they're at least staying roughly static in relation to each other. If they're all moving around, that would be yeah. a, that would be an impossibility for a radar at that point because the track would constantly be lost behind other yeah. other units. So yeah, the, these yeah these kind of drones uh, they are effective in swarms, but they are in itself pretty stupid. Right, slight problem now. We're at frigging missiles. Uh, guns, guns, guns. I guess Fewingtons. Get the Seabirds charged. Here we go. Yeah. Damn, I was See. hoping we're taking more of them out by now, but... Yeah, like exactly. It's a little too many of them to be able to effectively take them down with a Seawiz and a 30. Because they can only fire from one side at a time, mm -hmm. so they, cannot, they can't use all four guns. Yeah. No. Doing their best. Which is pretty okay. But not enough. Yeah. It looks like it did about the same as the Type 20. I'll, mm. do, I'll count them as they go over. But yeah. Right. You, sir. Do a thing. Or don't. Tea break. Tea break. No tea break for you, sir. <laughs> Man, I love those guns. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Dang, it's the same. <laughs> I can come for more, yeah. Uh, it's good to, yeah, roughly the same, yeah. Mm, the same. Sorry, viewers, we tried. Right, Britons tried and they looked great, but it just didn't work. We're going to have to go American. Yeah. Uh, we're going for that big. America, the biggest American warship, apart from a carrier, I think I'm right in saying it is da da da, yeah. a modernised Ticonderoga cruiser uh, CMP. Oh man, you're testing my uh, memory now, uh, and I can't remember what it's got in it. You're gonna have to do it for me, CH. Yeah, this one we have it equipped. This is we have different loadouts, but the same loadout is 64 ESSMs. Wow. They're shorter range, but very fast uh, missile. Uh, we have 32 SM2s. Yeah, slightly older ones, but pretty good. And we have 56 SM6, yeah, which are, yeah, superb. Yeah. Jesus, uh, nice in fast. range. Yeah, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> America! I hail you, sir! Hail to the chimp! <laughs> Look at that, viewers! It just fired everything! Uh oh, it stopped. Yeah, it does that, doesn't it? Uh, right. You have no, uh, simultaneous again. channels. You can't fire. Yeah, you have to keep track. Because the SM2s are. Uh, yeah, uh, semi-active uh, radar oh, right. homing. So there's only so many missiles you can fire in the air at once then? Yeah, but no. the SMs have uh, active radars and this yeah. SM6 also. So they can, if they fire the right kind of combination, they can put out more than the simultaneous kind of channels. Yes, right, gotcha. Okay, I'd love to know what's being fired. Let's see if we can have a quick look on here, viewers. We've got SM2, SM6. I guess we're out of the range of ESSM or out of something of ESSM. Let's go and have a look at one, shall we? Uh, are they already hitting also? I'm sure they must be. Yeah. yeah. By the law of averages, you've got to hit something, CH. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. If you're looking at the, the kill distance with their fusing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, fair yeah. point. Exactly. That's another, fair, that's, that's another fair point. Um, these big missiles are all designed to fire at fast things, viewers. 500 knot jets, 2,000 knot missiles and stuff. They are not fused and designed really to shoot down. These, these standard missiles are not really designed to shoot down a tiny thing that's flying at 100 knots. Um, I can see why it would be a problem for the missile to actually hit. Okay, they're doing their annoying weaving. Yeah. But I feel like we've destroyed a lot there. Obviously, I've got no other counting. Let's have a look. Oh, they're smashing MCH. They're absolutely SM6s. Yeah. I don't think we've even fired any SSM yet, and let alone the uh, Seawears and all the other nonsense that we've got on here. I mean, uh, SM6 is equivalent to like uh, the weight of 12 Shaheds. Wow. And the price of, <laughs> hang on, let me get this right, it's 8 yeah. million bucks. It's the price of 800. I th yeah. No, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a price of a lot, Viewington. Many hundreds of Shaheds. Oh, the PK is basically 100%. These missiles are friggin' 
friggin' magic. Look at that. Let's, oh, there's only one left. And it didn't... The Americans are going to go, oh, if we finally got any SSM out. That is friggin' yeah. orgasmic. That I ship mean, is so good. Like, I think it's 152 missiles. Jesus Christ. I just want to see how far... Damn it, I missed. Anyway, it was about the middle, so about... So by the time the time Type 26 had only just started firing its mushroom farm, a Ticonderoga had already destroyed 100 of them and not even broken sweat and only yeah. fired one ESSM, which is the only missile here that's actually designed for anti-swarm. So... But, but, but you can say you beat quantity by quantity. Oh, that was uh, really quality. It was also the rate of fire. That was the highest rate of fire we've seen as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, I don't know, reasons, all sorts of reasons, radars, whatever. So, we did see RAM. We just did four units and it didn't even scratch the surface. We could have had, added uh, a few more units, but I think the writing was on the wall. You just, you'd need 20 yeah, they, 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 Yeah, exactly. They, they, they don't have the range. So, they're starting to fire mm -hmm. pretty late, so they won't have the time. We tried the um, Spark from China. Because we like to yeah. mix things up a bit. Uh, again, didn't even scratch the surface. Yeah. They, they just weren't accurate enough. They didn't have time. Didn't fire enough rounds. Blah blah blah. We tried Panzer, which was disappointing because it really is designed for this kind of thing. Really, shoot but down it did missiles. Well, it did really well with the missiles. missiles. But uh, when when it went to the guns, it, it did didn't crap. do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I almost have a theory. Are they um, proximity shells or are they contact shells? I don't know I, I, because yeah. they're quite wide apart. Yeah. I almost think yeah. maybe the things flying in between them. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it did work. It was shooting some down, but not well enough. The tour, the radars malfunctioned. The data link malfunctioned. Something malfunctioned, which is kind of gives you an idea of how complex things are in the background of DCS viewers. Uh, 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 CH will probably never find out why. So we just have to accept the tour can't handle a swarm that big. It could handle 50 and 20 with CH, yeah. but not 100, especially when they're doing their wiggly wiggly. Then, is that when we gave up and went to naval units? Yeah, I think. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we went to our first ship, a Type 26 frigate uh, from Britain, which has got anti swarm mushroom farms, but it just didn't have enough. It had 44 missiles, which is good, but not yeah. enough. And then took another 20 down with guns, but it's not good enough. Type 45 did about the same, which I'm disappointed in. Yeah. It should have done better. Type 45 let us down. Uh, and then we brought the Yanks in, and their biggest active non aircraft carrier ship, the Ticonderoga Cruiser CMP 2020 spec with hundreds of friggin' missiles on the bloody thing. Hugely expensive, like billions, billions of dollars of equipment yeah. in there. But you can see why. It literally just chewed a drone swarm up. So, and this is going to be very uh, upsetting for a lot of people, but I think the only way of defending a 100 Shahed drone swarm is a friggin' giant 12,000 ton cruiser. <laughs> because, is there, is there anything American Shore had? Well, sure, we have, America doesn't really have Shore, does it? It has NASAMs? Yeah, NASAMs. It, it, yeah, it's starting to actually um, create new Shore, like the Striker Shore and those kind of stuff. But the NASAMs would actually be something you can use for this. But you need a lot of them since, yeah, you have six missiles per, per launcher, so it takes a lot of them. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do NASAMs viewers and then we'll sign off. But a tune bird, yeah, yeah. be happy. Yeah, he was arrested today, also. Were really? Yeah, yeah. Um, laugh. Um, anyway, welcome back, viewers. Uh, for your viewing pleasure, we've created the world's biggest NASAM site. This is the version 3 we've got here, um, and it's a brilliant, brilliant site. Each of them has six AMRAM ERs in, I think I'm right. Um, yeah. Now, just to give enough missiles to have to, to be able to destroy the swarm, we've had to make the site that big. Hugely Ooh. unrealistically... Ah, uh, pause. Hugely unrealistically big and this shows again why swarm is so impressive look what you would have to do to beat the swarm in terms of a sam you'd need to make the site that big and you know be prepared be in the right place be turned on and it's another tick in the swarm's bow there because no one in the world has a sam site that big this is the amram er uh anything you want to say about it uh yeah, it, it's actually an essm as you remember from mm. take on roga mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. with an amram uh, secret head so, right. so it has the body of an uh, ESM, which is much larger and much uh, uh, bigger booster. Yeah, right. Well, again, it's seen him, so it's got a good radar on it. And yeah. it's a mash. <laughs> oh, it's doing good stuff, CH. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, look at the rate yeah. of firing. You may have found yeah. something even better than Tycho <laughs> the Roga, an unrealistically massive Nissan site. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see if it's still firing. Look at the rate of fire! It's like a Gatling yeah. gun for missiles! 
but it would it uh, would still be a lot cheaper than the Gondoroga. Right, yeah, yeah, because the Tiger Gondoroga is literally I don't know, it's three billion dollars or something. It's yeah, infinitesimally big, which is why they can't. No one can build cruisers anymore, viewers. They're just people build frigates now. That's all they build, really. Yeah, because yeah. everything else is just too expensive. Wow, this is pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rate ridiculous. when you have 16 or did you have 18, 18 launchers? Then you and get 18 the, launchers, yeah. Because, oh, yeah, exactly. And all these uh, fires independently because they have active seekers. So you just swoosh them out and let wow. them do their work. That is <laughs> wow. an amazing piece of tech. Oh, one missed! One missed! We've oh, got wow. A PK that's of 19.99999999%. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, viewers. Something that's better than a Ticonderoga cru Cruiser. They killed them at, well, basically, as they took off. Look, this thing's only managed to get to 2,000 feet from the yeah. launch site, which is friggin' there. Uh, but yeah. again, it goes back to the point of no one's ever, ever made a SAM site that big because no one would, you know, you just couldn't. So it's it's a sci-fi operation, really. Yeah. Um, the Norwegians will be happy. Yes. Yes, that's right. Norwegians will be very happy, CH. <laughs> I think we've pretty much done that to death, viewers. So have a massive, like, unrealistically expensive cruiser or a massive, unrealistically large, uh, medium-range SAM site, and you could shoot them down. Otherwise, probably run away. Uh, are you happy, R uh, RC, CH? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, goodbye. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, CH has gone to bed, and I was just putting the video together, and I realized we've forgotten something very important. A long-range SAM. I've chosen the most modern version of the American Patriot system. Let me just pause it there. Again, we have the same problem as with the NASAM site. To give the site enough missiles to take out the swarm, we've had to make it hugely unrealistically big. As far as I'm aware, there's no Patriot battery in the world this big. Uh, we've got a command unit, uh, an ECS I think it's called, an EPP, the power plant for the site. We've got the search and track radar and we've got the launchers at the front. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Pac-2 launchers. Each have four Pac-2 Gem T missiles in long range missiles. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pac-3 launchers. Each have 12 pack 3 mse missiles giving a total sight ready to fire of just over 100 missiles again showing the problem of fighting the swarm right off you go chaps off we go That's pack 3 firing wow pack 3 is really firing Usually powerful radar, again it's tracking them pretty much as soon as they take off. Just getting to altitude now. is it pretty much destroyed at six nautical miles so yes absolutely a 2020s spec medium to long range sam site can defeat them as we probably all suspected but you got the same problem you need ready to fire over 100 missiles so you need an unrealistically large battery uh, which leads us into the same conclusion as we've seen before and that a drone swarm of 100 drones is a really nasty target to hope you enjoyed that and bye bye